Tonight, the SDPD homicide unit is investigating an officer-involved shooting at the border. It happened last night at the San Ysidro Port of Entry involving a CBP agent. News Ace Brian White has been following the story all day and has the details. The shooting occurred when a U.S. Customs and Border Protection agent fired his weapon at a vehicle traveling northbound here at the San Ysidro Port of Entry. Multiple lanes were closed down overnight during the investigation, causing major traffic backups into Monday morning. I was about to cross uh, the border and I just started hearing shots ring out, you know, a lot of people screaming. Uh, I just saw a lot of uh, CBP agents uh, swarm. Manny Zepeda captured this cell phone video Sunday night around 930, moments after an officer-involved shooting occurred at the San Ysidro port of entry. First, I was a little bit scared because, you know, I didn't know if it was an active shooter, if someone was right behind us. They sounded very close. Preliminary information indicates that a vehicle traveling from Mexico into the United States was traveling at a high rate of speed through the screening lanes where U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents were posted to monitor northbound traffic. The vehicle was driven by a solo male occupant and crashed into the back of another car in the traffic lane and then tried to drive around that car. As this was happening, a CBP agent discharged his firearm multiple times. The vehicle was struck, but the driver was not injured. He was taken into custody by CBP officers. The SDPD homicide unit was immediately called in to assist the investigation. Detectors are working to confirm the identity of the driver. He's in federal custody and under investigation by Homeland Security for illegal entry and assault. I did see uh, the CVP agents arrest a, a male adult. Uh, they were taking him into custody. Several lanes were shut down overnight during the investigation. I did notice that there was a lot of traffic, a lot of people got backed up. The Customs and Border Protection agent who was involved in the shooting has been with CBP for 14 years and his name is not being released at this time. When the homicide unit completes their investigation, it will be reviewed by the United States Attorney's Office to determine if the CBP officer bears any criminal liability for his actions. In San Ysidro, I'm Brian White for News 8.